make a video on this because it's working like a charm. I've got uh, some random parts that are coming off of the track that need to be cleaned up. And so this is one of the uh, brackets underneath the gas tank. And you can see how just gunked up and shitty that is. So stuff like this, stuff like this, I'm using my electrolysis tank. <laughs> and so here's a before and here's an after. They're almost exactly the same, but I put this one in the tank this morning and it looked worse than that one. And you can see it's down to bare metal. And all it is, I don't think I've done a video on this yet. I need to, it's my electrolysis tank. Um, pretty easy setup really. It takes a, a battery charger about six amps with some Arm & Hammer, Arm & Hammer washing soda. The electrolytes cause the electrons from the rusty piece, I don't know, to transfer the rust to a clean piece of metal, which I have a piece of steel here that I keep sanding down to make it clean. And it works like a, works like a charm. Here's a couple of cast iron pieces I did. These were so gunked up it was horrifying but i'm using it on these random tractor parts this is next another fuel tank shroud i'll show that one after but i'm gonna put this baby in there and we'll see uh how it comes out All right, it's been overnight. Look at that, huh? That means it's working. When you've got rust soup, that means it's working. So that's the clean piece of metal. That's the old tractor part we put in there. You hook up positive electro, positive electrode to the good piece, negative to the old piece. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how it came out. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Look at it, it just loosens everything. It comes right off. Look at that. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the ultimate electrolysis tank today. We've got a big plastic tub because you need a non-conductive tub. We've got a huge plastic one on the farm and I'm gonna rig it up and I'm gonna try doing the whole fender. Heck yeah. That's gonna be this morning's <clears throat> job one. <clears throat> yep, this is gonna clean up so nice. Bare metal. Gotta love it. How's this, a little better? A little work with the wire wheels and the drill and the air. A little final cleanup. Look at that. No more rust. <laughs> Ready for paint.
Did the dashboard today. Got that down to bare metal. A couple minor Bondo spots. Getting closer. Closer every day. electrolysis tank well this is the mother of all electrolysis tanks I believe it holds 150 gallons and it was a giant uh, plastic tote that we had on the turkey farm and you have to use non-conductive containers for this and obviously the plastic fits the bill so test run we've got the seat in there and the electrode is a piece of sheet metal, cold rolled steel that I had. But anyway, Google electrolytic rust removal. <clears throat> so I don't have to explain it. But I will tell you this. This is the secret ingredient right here. Arm and Hammer washing soda. So I just set the whole thing up. We've got our battery charger hooked up to it. Positive on the electrode, negative on the piece you want to take the rust off of, and if you look close, you can see, see all the bubbles coming off of this thing? It's starting to fizz. That's what we want. The rust is going to go from that to that. So it's a big one. But we're going to do all kinds of stuff in this, including this uh, Fender, I brought that over, but I figured we'd give the seat a try first, but anything that'll fit in here, we're gonna do it. Yes. <laughs> these are, these, these are the brake pads. They're supposed to be attached to the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Left me with a tractor with no brakes. Wow. Yeah, that's in need of an overhaul.
Well, that's actually a shame. I wanted to, uh, I really wanted to keep as much of the tractor as possible, you know, being dad's and my grandfather's, but uh, these fenders, you know, I looked at them and thought, well, I can clean them up and save them, even though I could see there was, dad had welded them and bondoed them. But once, I, well, then I decided I'd better take the brackets, take the skins off of the brackets. As soon as I did that, everything went to shit pretty quick. And I realized there's no saving these things. I mean, for a couple hundred bucks, I can buy brand new skins and save myself. Oh, that's hot. Ow, 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 ow. I can save myself a lot of aggravation. I mean, even if I was careful about getting those out, there's, there's no way that, uh, shit, these are salvageable. But I got the brackets. I'm gonna bring them back to life and at least I'll have those. And, uh, save me a lot of time and body work on the fenders. I've been doing the hood sides. One of them. You know, starting to clean this up. 